Yay, a how-to video. Hey, what's up? This is Mechanics with the Mechanic Shop. Want to help you real quick uh, install the mod launcher for seven days to die. Now this will give you the mods for uh, Darkness Falls and also Ravenhurst, but this is the mod launcher that everybody is using, and I'm going to put the link to this down in the description below so that you can get to this forum post right here. Once you're here, you'll want to scroll down to this link right here. It's the GitHub link. It says download and run. What you'll do is you'll click on it. It'll bring up another window and it'll ask you to run it. Now it is an, a .msi file. So once you save it, you just click on it, install it, and you'll be ready to roll. Now before you get too much into the mod itself, we'll want to also open up our Steam account and we'll go here to our seven days to die we'll right click hit properties and hit beta right there now you want to make sure that it says none opt out of all beta programs because if you're in any of these it will not work so once you've got that settled we'll go ahead and do that we'll minimize and we'll go to the actual um, mod launcher now this mod launcher is pretty simple all you've got to do is go here go to start splash screen and what you want to do is you want to create a whole new folder because what it does is it copies the seven days to die game into a whole new folder so you don't want to copy it back into the seven days to die folder if that makes sense and to do that all you got to do is click on this little blue icon right there with the folder and select whichever folder you want to put it on and then hit OK. In my case, I've already got it downloaded, so I don't want to do that. But also, right here, what we're going to do is the next step is to click on that, drop that little tree down. Now, your tree is going to have X's here. You can install Darkness Falls if you want, but we're on Darkness Falls Experimental, so that's what we're going to do. Now, since I've already got it uh, downloaded, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the uh, screenshots that I did here and here you see that I have the little X it wasn't installed and I made sure to go ahead and keep it in this folder because what it does is it's going to put slash experimental behind that so I just went ahead and kept it in that folder I clicked on the DF uh, experimental and then once I did that it says copy from existing copy you want to make sure that this is from your Steam Games folder. Install Game Copy and make sure that it's in that folder that you created. So right here, Darkness Falls, DF Experimental in our case. And once you do that, it will take a little bit of time, but it will have a green bar down here. Make sure that that green bar stops going and it says that it's done because if you get too impatient it will not work so make sure that little green bar right there stops and then the next thing you'll have to do is you'll have to pre-sync it once you pre-sync it it'll have a bunch of numbers at the bottom of the mod installer and it'll say okay so many files so many files and it'll tell you how many files now sometimes it locks up for about five minutes just let it lock up it'll act like it's not doing anything but don't get too uh, antsy because it'll come out of that lockup and then pretty much from there you can play it but if you want to play on our server you want to also go to manage modlets here and this is really easy to do another pop-up window will come up and you'll want to search here in the search bars uh, view available uh, right there and you'll get a huge list here and what you want to do is search for these right here creature pack mechs creature pack fantasy and make sure they have the zero in front of them and then also lightsaber these are the three that you're going to want to incorporate into your game because we have the mechanical creatures that run around we also have the lightsaber so if you want to be able to see those things you have to download that modlet once you get those modlets downloaded uh, it's simple from there you just hit play mod and you should be good to go if you have any questions please let me know our discord will also be down in the uh, video description and that's pretty much it some people have had a little bit of issues but we usually can work them out so hope to see you on the server and I'll catch you later thanks for watching the mechanic shop so this is what hell's like right here
Look at that. Look at that. That's freaking ridiculous. That dude is ridiculous. He's currently trying to beat the 